Now that he has signed, we would now like to call the security agencies whose job it is to enforce the laws to begin dealing especially with those who are promoting homosexuality. Because they claim that this is a minority, a minority cannot seek to recruit people into their group because in the first instance they are not part of your group. But these fellows are very active. One time I appeared with one of them on a radio station. They get money to promote homosexuality in schools, to recruit children. Now that the law is in force, we will now completely stop them. Because for any crime in Uganda, if you steal, nobody gets to know, certainly you will not be punished. But the day we get to know that you have stolen something, the law will catch up with you. So this whole rubber that the law will stop homosexuality, homosexuals from seeking um, medical attention, the moment you go to seek medical attention, it means now you are provoking the law. That's the point at which you must be get. Because you see, the donors seek not only to protect, but to introduce an existing uh, group in Uganda and in all of the Africa. Homosexual is not something that people were proud uh, of in the past. It is only today that you hear people who can publicly claim that me, I am homosexual. So the donors are seeking to using their money to leverage using their money for the continued operation of homosexuals in Uganda. We have advised Mr. M7 as a country who can use our resources uh, in a frugal way, say that we don't get blackmail. The blackmail of homosexuals not getting treatment for HIV and or any other treatment is a blackmail, is a cover to make them continue existing in Uganda and to, to, to continue making them, let them go and seek a medical attention elsewhere where that culture is tolerated. In Uganda it is not. Certainly, even the drug for homosexual, we don't have it. Let them go to Europe, let them go to America, where they can treat them without encumbrances. As a country, we have said no to homosexuality, and that will be our position, whether in Uganda or outside Uganda. I, I warned Parliament, by the way, when the law was passed. I told Parliament that Mr. M7, after assenting to this law at a public function, was the one now instructing his ADs and former ADs to take it to court. You remember that time Seven was visiting America and all the hotels had declined to accommodate him, saying that either the workers are homosexual or the owner is a homosexual. And Seven wanted to go there as a way of uh, cleaning his image in the international world. So he made sure that the same person who acceded to the law was the same person operating clandestine to have it over time. And, and that I told Parliament, and I actually told Parliament that don't be surprised that Fox Odoi will be in court. Now that M7 has assented to the law, I still harbor the same fear that the same seven will call judges and he will send the proxies to have the law nullified. If it is not nullified, then M7 will have a change. But the one I know most likely will be in court.